beginning of the year, one of the goals I wrote down is to travel more, visit new cities, experience new things, and create more memories. And what better place to do that than Los Angeles? You see, I ain't never even been to the western side of the country, so it's time to see what the hype is all about. Hey man, we in LA with it, man. LeBron was good, Paul George was good, Kawhi was good, man. We in LA with it. All right, man, we just got in the vehicle, man. Y'all know we had to go big Rolls Royce, man. Y'all know I had to cash out. You know what I mean? Nah, I went with the Kia, man. I was gonna go with the Urus, but she she ain't like the Urus. How you feeling? I'm, I'm so excited. No. All right, y'all, first stop, y'all know we gotta get some eats, man. About to hit this taco truck. Man, I heard a lot about these taco trucks out here, so we finna see, man, we finna see. Los Angeles once again takes top honors for the most gridlock city in the world. Look, we ain't even go to the crib yet and put our stuff away, but we just went straight to that St. Monica Pier type work. About to hop on the Ferris wheel, see some. I see it. Man. Yeah, there was no way I was staying two hours in traffic. So St. Monica Pier it is. But y'all see the views, man. These views are crazy. Glad we came here instead of sitting in traffic. But even though I'm scared of heights, I had to hop on the Ferris wheel. How you feeling, this is man? so exciting! I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I wasn't even scared of the heights at that point because the views were so good. Seeing the beach, the city line. It's good vibes, man. Good vibes. Ain't nothing like that early morning grind. Setting yourself up to win your day. Man, we about to get this workout in, man. Yeah, I know we on vacation, but even though we on vacation, we still need to get that work, man, no matter what. So, about to get this quick workout in. Let's go. To start this workout off, we went with some squats, three sets for one minute. Then you know we gotta get the lunges in. Three sets for one minute, 30 seconds each leg. Now we're gonna go to upper body and we're gonna get some dips in. Three sets of 15. And now we got some incline push ups, four sets of 25. Or we just going straight to 100, you know how it be. Then we gonna hit the abs, and we got crunches. Then we gonna go to some flutter kicks. You see Shorty trying to get right. Do a good job. Yeah, so when you do it, just do it like this. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, perfect, like perfect, that. perfect. Yeah, yeah, you did it right. That's right. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only go like right here. Like have oh. your back to like right here oh. and then go up. So that's how you do it. And you're going to feel it like right here. Yeah, my hair is all like your guys are here so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So strong. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, up and down. So my hair not walking. Squeeze it so you can feel it. Okay, thank you so much. It's always nice to have interactions with people like that. But you know we had to get back to work. We got a one mile sprint. Just putting in that pain to finish up this workout. Oh my goodness. That's how it work, man. Hey, California, man. It's nice out here, man. Ooh, morning workout. How you feeling? 
I'm feeling good. I'm so happy that we did that. Yeah, man. We was a little tired this morning, but we pushed through and we got up. Yeah, she wasn't trying to go, but y'all know we got put in that pain. I literally got you up to go. Don't lie. Cap. But now, nah, man, we just put in that pain. We just put in that pain, man. Y'all know how it be. We feeling good. All right, show us the fit. Let me see what you got on. Uh, sure. We just got a regular base shirt. Nothing too crazy. All right, all right. Got the Apple Watch. And then we got the cargo pants by Boohoo Man. Hey, Boohoo Man, I need that sponsorship, man. Y'all better sponsor my man. I need that sponsorship. Mm, don't play. And then we got the Dior's on the feet. Dior B22s, man. Y'all already know how it is, man. I heard you. Hold on. Y'all see for the dreads royalty, man. Look, if you're not getting your hair done by royalty and you're in Boston, you slacking, man. Y'all see the dreads looking nice, but you better get on out of here, man. Slight fit, slight fit. Yeah, my question is, bro, who needs this much light, man? Who needs this much light? Don't tell me not this be Tay when she got her bone around. This about to be my next whip, man. When that YouTube check come in, I'm popping this right here, man. Popping this right here. Y'all see a V8 engine. The views, man. It's crazy, man. And these views were crazy, man. Seeing the Hollywood sign, the city line, all that, crazy. Hey man, these views is crazy, dog. I got, I got the best view next to me, though. Y'all know. Y'all see the views, though. Alright, man, we got this little donut shop, man. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little some. I'm gonna get a little some. She paid for me, y'all. Y'all see it? Got ourselves some donuts real quick. Some light, some light. Look. I know I be telling y'all, man, don't eat bad, but we on vacation, you know. I just want to try something real quick. Let me see. This is good. All right, y'all. I'm back at the Crippo. Being from the East Coast, this time difference got me messed up. I want to show y'all, man, that even though you on vacation, even though you out, man, you still got to get that time with God in you because if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be out here, bro. So he got me here safe. He got me here right. So we about to get this quick Bible study in. You know, so this week we study in Proverbs 5, 7, 8, 12, and 31. So I'm just gonna do a quick study with my girl. We about to get this guy working, man. Y'all know how I go. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all the ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. We got Old Town Road. Y'all see a Sunset Ranch. I'm about to see what these horses talking about, man. Look, I ain't never been on no horse before. I'm kind of scared, you know what I mean? I'm kind of scared, but we finna see how it go. That's your mom. Did you see the puppy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dog is so cute. It's a donut girl. It's a girl, right? A girl, yeah. Come on. I put that helmet on, but we gonna mess up my dreads. Y'all see it, we ready, man. We ready. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I see it, bro. Hey, my man, thirsty. <laughs> yeah, these horses. He's drinking water. Yeah. We gotta add this to the back of things, man. We ride our horses, man. I see it. That's how we learn how to do. We know how to ride a horse. Now, now y'all know I'm scared of heights. But my horse made sure I was straight the whole way through. Y'all see the views though. Yeah. Y'all see it, man. You feel good? 
Ah, let me. The horse ride was about 30 minutes. As someone who never rode a horse before, this was light. We got the Hollywood sign up there. And we just got LA down there, man. All right. Touch down first, okay? Slow down. So you're going to lean forward? Got it. Touch down. Hey. <sighs> Tay, how you feeling? That was so much fun. Yeah, that was a crazy experience. I know I just said that. I probably said that like five times, but man, oh man. See, sometimes you just gotta try different things. So I be telling you, I just try different things, man. Get outside your comfort zone. I'm scared of heights, so that was definitely um, that was definitely crazy, man. Being on the edge and stuff, but you get a whole look at the uh, whole look of the city. You get to see the damn. Oh, we see the Hollywood sign? Yeah. Yeah, smooth. Smooth. I'm with the big dog, Mr. Three Plates. Mr. Three Plates. It's always good to catch up with friends with some good food. Y'all see it. But then we hit the jewelry store. My girl said she was in a cop a bust down reed chain. Y'all see she went crazy. Let's see what she got. Ah, right, y'all. She just bought a bust down reed chain. Reed chain. chain. She got a little tea for Tyreek. No, for Tyreek. Tyreek. Y'all look at these boots, man. Y'all look at the boots, man. These toe boots, man. Yo. Some crazy boots, man. We got a baby shower right now, man. Y'all know how I be at these baby showers, man. I'm just here for the food, man. Y'all know I just came here for the food. I came here to eat. And it's my nature, man. How you gonna have a Bro, that is with not in the bag? Don't man. watch it, you guys. How you gonna have a diaper with a butt in the bag? More interactive one. I gotta teach him, bro. Whenever I travel, I always make sure I say what's up to family and friends. But overall, I really like LA, man. It's real smooth out here. Happy to see what the next day holds. Alright, y'all. So today is Sunday. Y'all know we be in church on Sunday, but. Happy Sunday, guys. We're on our way to San Diego, so I'm gonna tell y'all what we're doing. So y'all know, maybe y'all can add this into your life when you're not able to get to church. We're just listening to a sermon in the car. Usually this is what I do when I'm driving to wherever I need to go. I just listen to a sermon, mm -hmm. listen to the word that I need to know. So right now, we are listening to, I don't know if y'all can see it right, but Mr. Vlad, he be cooking, man. So it's called getting deeper with the Holy Spirit. We're just learning, man. Couldn't be in church. You gotta do something, man. As long as y'all see you trying, he gonna make sure you good. So we about to get this, we, we about to get on the road, man. We about to get on the road. Let's get it. I love taking road trips. A quick two hour drive to San Diego. Man, I heard a lot about San Diego, man. I'm excited to see what this place hold. We went to Belmont Park, smooth beach, nice scenery. Y'all see they got the roller coaster. They got all types of stuff there. So we had to see what was up with it. I see the views, man. I already represent San Diego out here. You rubbing oil? What you think this is? Wait, we are she rubbing oil on her body like she like a swimsuit, Sports Illustrated type model. Boy, get your head up. Well, all we've been doing is been nice to get out the city and just sit on the beach and relax. I mostly just like scenery and just watching nature. Especially since it's like 30 degrees back at home. I'm taking it all in. Like, this trip is very motivating right now, man. Just relaxing, seeing the waves, seeing people smiling and whatnot, being here with my girl. It's like a dream, man. It's like a dream. So keep God close, all glory to God. I thank Him. Just gotta keep putting in that pain, man. Amen. But y'all, look at this. One thing about my girl, she always gonna buy some jewelry. What is it? She just caught this. She's still buying chains though. This is tough though, I like this. All right, y'all, we about to go on this ride, man. I don't really like heights, I'm not gonna lie. So this is gonna be something different for me, but. He went on the one in Santa Monica Pier and he 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 liked it. I'm gonna I'm be a dog, I'm gonna be a dog, man. Yeah. I don't like heights, but I'm gonna be a dog.
You good? Yeah. Nah, that was tough. That was tough. I ain't gonna lie. That was tough. My eyes, my eyes are literally broken. Yeah. <laughs> Now that ride was smooth. That was so much fun. What would you rate it? Um, 10 out of 10. 10? That was like a 7, bro. It wasn't too crazy. It was smooth, though. I see the footage. I was like, she was crying over here, going crazy. I was not crying, but I was just water. Yeah, it was a smooth ride, though. Between the two hour drive and chilling on the beach, it was time to go ahead and get some good eats. <laughs> Bars. Nah, but y'all see the good eats, though. We went to this restaurant called Crushed. Y'all see it. Eating good. She got Dragon Ball Z, and that's right there. Alright, y'all, she over here drawing this. And the results are in. Let's see this. Ta da! <laughs> you are now Total Drama Island characters for you. Thank you. You are yeah. welcome. <laughs> Alright, y'all, boys, make sure y'all tap in with her, man. Y'all saw she did her thing. Tap in with her, man. I know we gotta show support, man. Y'all see, it's pay what you want, man. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be generous, we're gonna give our love, you know, a little sample to the cameras. She's sleeping. <laughs> oh, the sleepy little boy. She's too young, bro. She's not used to that life, bro. San Diego was real fun. Fortunately, it's gonna be my last day being on the west coast. Then we gotta head back east. For the last day, just need to cross some things off my bucket list. All right, man, I know we had to pull up, man, and say what's up to my dog, Kobe, man. Y'all see it, man, that Kobe statue. My boy, Kobe. Rest in peace to one of my favorite players of all time, man. My boy, Kobe. Y'all know we had to come and pay our respects. Then after that, we found a park named Echo Park to just chill and vibe. Terry's about to try to touch this really beautiful duck, but he's not gonna go for it, obviously. <laughs> no, he doesn't. This brings me back to my days as a jit. Y'all know I had to hit the ice cream truck. He's grabbing our ice cream. <laughs> That's not what the picture looked like. Alright y'all, she definitely gave me the wrong one, but it's all good. She took a little price off. I'm not worried about it. Y'all know how it is, man. This is a little ice cream, no big deal, but oh D got me looking big bag. <laughs> You is a big yeah, but we just got this right here. I didn't want the Oreos and stuff. I just wanted it regular, but I it's still looking good, though. Said. Yeah, the ice cream was good, but I seen they had these duck boats, so you know me and Shorty had to hop on, sign up for that one-hour rental, and just chill and vibe in the middle of downtown LA. Yeah, we on that little boat, man. That's what happens when you do legs, y'all. And we're not creasing the forces. Just relax. I told y'all I'll be liking these nature stuff, bro. I'm gonna be liking to go out to the clubs and all that stuff, man. This is way better, man. All right, y'all. Literally just started raining, bro. We trying our best to get out of here. She not trying to get her little hair wet. Oh my gosh, it's starting to get more. Nah, it actually is raining. We gotta get out of here, bro. <laughs> we had like an hour on the thing. We only used like 20 minutes, but it started raining, man. So I gave Shorty my shirt, bro. Y'all know when y'all got a girl, y'all gotta make sure y'all girl straight, man. You know, when your girl look good, 
You can't let her get her hair wet, so I gave her my shirt. Ah, uh, it's raining, boy. Uh, Y'all see the pants all wet, boy? What the heck? All right, yeah, we just got to the car, bro. I got a little rain on me. My pants are wet. This is how you know I'm a real MVP. I'm a true gentleman, bro. I walked in the rain to go get my girl, bro. That's what you gotta be a gentleman. You gotta be selfless, man. But yeah, well, let's go pick her up. The last stop, Venice Beach. All right, y'all, last stop. Y'all know we had to come to Venice Beach. I ain't gonna hoot. I just wanted to check out the view, man. Smooth little bees, get some hooping in. Yeah, we literally just watched the sunset go down, but it's like some Cinderella story type John, bro. That John came out smooth, though. That John really came out tough. Okay, uh, super. Damn, I'm gonna miss these views, man. Gotta head back home, though. Finally back home after a long trip. I really only had one thing on my mind when I was out there. I had to get my get back. So you know we in the lab. with y'all man we just got life arm pump in feels good to be home back from a trip man overall the trip was really fun i had a good time that was my first time in la and i got to see a lot of things that i normally wouldn't see because i'm from the north definitely plan on going back hopefully i get more opportunities to go back grateful that god gave me the ability to be able to travel with my girl be safe out there and see the things I see, allowing me to share this with y'all, man. And traveling is something that I want to do more of in 2024, to be able to just go different places and see different things. You know, I'm not really too big on going to restaurants and clubs, and I don't drink, I don't party, I don't do none of that, man. I just care about looking at nice sceneries, looking at the mountains, looking at the sunset, going on horses. Like, I mostly care about experience and things like that, so this trip definitely motivated me to really get in my bag, man, and to really go harder, man, to be able to do something like that every, like all the time. And one thing that's on my bucket list is to go to Africa. I wanna be able to go to Africa one day. You know, I wanna go to different parts of Asia, different parts of Europe, you know, visit all different types of places, man. So I gotta put the work in. But I just wanna say this for those of y'all who, you know, are from like a small town like how I am, man. Just know that there's more to this world. Don't think that your town is all that there is. And a lot of us, we have hometown syndrome. I think that's what it's called, but hometown syndrome, where we only care and focus on what's in our city, what's, what's the people around the same that we see every day. Not knowing that there's a whole nother world where people appreciate your talents, people appreciate who you are as a person in another place where you could thrive. So sometimes you just need to go to a different environment to see things, experience things, to know that you are bigger than what you actually are. And not to be like prideful or not humble or anything, but just knowing like, yo, I'm worth more. I just have to go to a different environment and see different things. And I think that's for me what, what, what I kind of learned going on this trip. Like sometimes I just need to see different things. I just need to be reminded that there's more out there in the world for me to get, more out there for me to see, more out there for me to experience. And that's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just happy that and blessed that I was able to take this trip. One thing is, y'all saw, I didn't really eat too good out there, but I'm holding myself accountable. And y'all see, straight off the flight, we in the gym. You know, there's gonna be times where you don't eat good or where you can't always, you know, eat healthy and whatnot. You can't always be in your bed. So that's why I work so hard. So when those times come, it doesn't hurt me as much. Right now, we're going into that grind mode, man. That LA trip really motivated me, bro. And not only motivated me from seeing nice things, but it also motivated me from seeing like the homeless people in the streets. LA is really big when it comes to homeless people. I was walking downtown and I literally saw a dude 
take a dump right in front of me, bro. Those people don't have the opportunity that I have. Those people don't have resources and different things that can help them get to where they get to. So for me, that motivates me and it keeps me extremely humbled because I could easily be one of those people. You know what I mean? Out in the streets, in the tent, not having really nothing to my name. And fortunately, I'm blessed enough to have what I have, to have a gym space to myself, to have a fancy camera, to be able to go across the country and ride on horses with my girlfriend. Like, I'm just extremely blessed and humbled to be able to do that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Look, if y'all like these Dana Lights vlogs, man, I need you to comment right now. Comment right now, man, because I plan on dropping more on my channel. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your boy, Reek. We gone.